<laughs> okay, so I was originally going to make a video last night, kind of detailing my thoughts, saying how I felt, all that stuff. But I decided to sleep on it, take, uh, take some time to think, because I was pretty high on the emotions of the game, obviously. And if you looked at my timeline, I, I was going through it. Um, so now, I, it matters first. We did win. We're going to take our first Orange Crush victory toast of the year. But um, it's almost a little reluctant. It tastes a little different. Um, now, get this out of the way. I don't think this is like the game where it's like you won, but you feel like you lost. To some, it might feel that way. And I understand why, and I'll get to that in a minute. But here's the thing. We don't know the saying, you don't apologize for a win. And I think that's the case here. What, would you want to give it back? You want to be 0-2? You want to be in the basement? You want to be with the Raiders? Yeah, I didn't think so. So, <laughs> I don't want to be 0-2. I would rather be 1-1 one and, one and at least say, hey, we won a game. We won. But I don't know how we did it, and it was certainly very frightening at times, but we won. There are a lot of things to fix. And in my opinion, this is the kind of game where you can say, I'm happy we won, I'm good with the win, but man, we got a lot to fix. So, let's address Nathaniel Hackett first. I know he's the big topic. Am I going to call for his job and say he should be fired? No. We're too early for that. We are we're way beyond... It, what, could it, what could it do? If I sat here in front of this camera and said, we need to fire Nathaniel Hackett, is George Payton going to do that? Is George Payton going to watch my video and say, oh wow, that dude, that overweight dude with a beard and on YouTube, he might have a point. Maybe we need a new head coach. Maybe we need to fire Nathaniel Hackett. Maybe we need to, maybe we need to hire somebody else. No, he's not going to say that. He's not going to go onto Twitter like, oh wow, random person. Random username person says we need to fire Hackett. Maybe he's got a point about something. He's not going to do that. Okay? He is going to... Obviously, he's going to stick this out. This is his guy. So, I don't get the point in calling for Hackett's job. That was never going to be a thing after this game. I think Hackett can get better. I think he will get better. I hope he will get better. So, there were some fans I saw that were actually thinking it would be okay to lose the game because it meant Hackett would be closer to getting fired. No. You don't say that week two. If we're having this problem in November or in December, okay, now we can talk about that. But we're not going to have that conversation in September. Got a long ways to go. Still got 15 games left. So the thing with Hackett is I think he can get better. I think he will get better. And, of course, everyone has their opinion on how they can fix this. We all heard the funny stuff like the crowd chanting the play clock, which I thought was a little funny. And I think the players took it in stride. But here's my thing. I think Hackett needs to do one of two things. Either give up play calling duties, let Justin Alton call the plays. I mean, he knows the system. They were literally on the same staff together. They were on the same coaching staff. So I think Alton could call the plays just fine. Let Alton call plays, and then he focuses more on being the CEO type. Let him focus on being a, a, a game manager. If you're wondering why there's a bunch of, you know, some little bit of color hues. I got lights going on. I'm trying to try something new, trying to see how it looks. But anyways, um, I, then you can just let Hackett be a game manager. Let him focus on situational management. Let him focus on that, get better at it, and just let Alton just call the system that Hackett would. Or if Hackett wants to call the plays, which is fine, I got no problem with that. Hackett wants to call the plays, he has to improve his situational management. If you're going to go for it on fourth and two, you got to go now. You can't be like, ah, but I maybe want to kick it. Or, nah, I changed my mind. You got to know, like, if you're going to make that call, we're going for it. Okay, we're going for it. No second thoughts. Get out there, get the play in, and let's get going. They did a much better job of getting the plays in this time. They had one delay a game, but that was due to the fact that. Um, our punt returner, Montreal Washington, wasn't on the field. <laughs> That's on the special teams coach. It's not on Hackett. That's on the special teams coach not getting his guy out on the field on fourth and eight. Like, come on, you should be back there. You know you're returning the kick. And then there was the, oh my God, the debacle where fourth and two, you say you're going to go for it, you change your mind, you rush the kicking unit out there, and McManus makes the kick, 
but you take a delay a game, and then apparently it's too far to kick it, and so then he sends out Waitman to punt it. <laughs> like, what? Come on! Like that was that was funny. Uh, it was stupid, and holy crap, that was awful. But that was kind of funny. It was like a bad comedy, and I tweeted it out yesterday. It was kind of funny how bad it was. Um, sure, it won't be funny if we lose, but the fact that we got away with it, I'm like, it's kind of a, like a bad comedy. It's kind of funny. Um, I'll admit, I get really emotional. You've seen it on this channel. I get into the height of the game, and I'm riding that roller coaster. I'm, 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 I'm there. So, admittedly, I will say things in the heat of the game that once I take a step back and I learn from it, and I'm like, you know, maybe, you know, maybe I should tweak that. I, I don't know if I tweeted out or not, but I think I tweeted out, when did we hire Freddie Kitchens? Because it felt a lot like Freddie Kitchens, you know, when he was the head coach in Cleveland. But in retrospect, I'm like, you know what, no. Let's not, let's not get too deep into it. Let's not let that slide. If we have this problem again, and if, if, if this continues to be a thing, okay, then we can have that conversation. But for now, I took a step back. I, I apologize that sometimes I can get a little heated, and I apologize that sometimes I don't. Sometimes I'm just so worked up that I just throw it out there. I need to take, learn to take a step back and and really evaluate it. Hard for me to do because I get so invested. So, my thought on Hackett, I think he can do better, I think he will do better, I think we have seen some good things from him, I like the play calling at times, I do think they should have committed more to the run, because Javante and Melvin were gashing them, just, just gashing them, and of course that red zone, those two red zone series were just atrocious, and um, if it wasn't for that miracle throw from Sauber, uh, from Russell Wilson to Sauber, who knows what happens, um, but Hackett... I'm gonna give him a chance, okay? I gave Hack I gave Fangio a chance, I gave Joseph a chance. I, I have to be patient. We have to be patient. Um, I think we all knew there would be some growing pains. I don't know if we knew it would be to this extent. But let's take a step back. Come on. What is firing Hackett gonna do? Really? What at this point in the year? What is it going to do? We'll have this conversation in late October, early November. If this is still going on, we can have that conversation. But for now, just take a deep breath, okay? As for Russ, his numbers weren't fantastic. Can't really blame it all on him because, yeah, some of those throws were bad. Some of his decision-making can be iffy. But holy crap, we had so many drops yesterday, it was absurd. The, it was basically Sutton or bust. We lost Judy to an injury. Uh, they did look at him and they said he's day-to-day, -day. it's not that bad. Chance he could play on Sunday, fantastic. Same goes for Pat Sertan, which is great because we cannot afford many more injuries. Can't lose Judy, can't lose Sertan. Hamler was out yesterday. We already don't have Tim Patrick. Uh, the only guy who was really catching anything was Cortland Sutton. It was basically Sutton or bust yesterday. And I love Cortland Sutton, but it can't just be him. We got to have other guys. Tyree Cleveland uh, dropped a huge catch. Uh, Albert O dropped a huge catch. Devontae Williams dropped a huge catch. So we got to hope that they can keep catching this. Keep, 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 come on, get better chemistry. I think it is coming. Better days are ahead in that chemistry. Um, I think the run game looks pretty good. The old line looks much better. The offensive line is significantly improved. I, I like this offensive line. Defense, oh my god, the defense, I love it. They were, I, I know it's just, I know Houston's not amazing. I thought Davis Mills looked all right, but man, that defense was fantastic. Chubb and Gregory, they look fantastic. They're doing their jobs, they're getting in there, they're making plays. I love Gre Gre uh, Gregory and Chubb, they're doing their jobs. Draymond Jones was a monster yesterday, couldn't get in the game ceiling sack. Draymond Jones, I love him. He was a, he had a breakout year last year, and now he's really getting in there. Um, I love the defense. The run defense looks great. Linebackers look much improved. The secondary looks great. Ronald Darby is stepping up big time. Quan Williams had a nice game. I, I like what I'm seeing. Um, it's not come together fully, but it's getting there. I think this team is going to get better as time goes along. 
I was preaching this with the Avalanche last year when they had the rough start, when we expected them to be a cup contender. I said, let's give them some time. Now I get it, I get it. 82 game season, you have a little more time to work on it than a 17 game season in the NFL, but let's give this team a chance. Let's not throw them out with the let's not throw the baby out with the bath water, okay? I think this team is going to get better. We've got San Francisco next week. It's going to be tough. Uh, I know they have Jimmy Garoppolo, but they know how to win with him. They can win with Garoppolo, and I think they're confident in him. Kyle Shanahan's a really good coach. They have a tellacious run game. I know they don't have Elijah Mitchell right now, but. Yeah, you could give that dude some dude off the practice squad, and he'd make him an all-star. He did it with Elijah Mitchell. Um, their defense can play. They just beat the hell out of Seattle. So, got to be got to be sharp. Got to be focused. It's in our house. We can win the game. We can win this game. But we need much improvement. I need the play calling to be much better. I need Nathaniel Hackett to improve that game management. Either... Give up game, either give up play calling and let somebody else do it, or just you need to tighten up. Yeah, either he needs to give up the play calling and just do be a game manager, be a CEO, and let Outen call the plays, or he needs to tighten up. One of those things has got to happen. Something's got to give. Uh, I think that they're getting better. I think Russ has significantly improved. I think that the line is much better. I think that the run game is there. The defense is there. We are better than what... Uh, we're better than a lot of the stuff shows. We know we're better than this, and I expect that we will be better than this. Is it a win? Yeah, a win's a win, and I'm not going to give that back. I mean, you want to be 0 2? Want to be in the basement? No. So let's just calm down, take the win, and let's get ready to go work. Okay? I mean, hey, it could always be worse. Look what happened this past week. At least we didn't blow a 13-point lead to the Jets in two minutes. At least we didn't get shut out by Jacksonville. At least we didn't blow a 21-point lead at home. At least we didn't, uh, you know, lose a game up 20 to nothing at halftime and fumble an OT. Not going to name names. You know who I'm talking about. So, it can always be worse. I think we'll get better. We're going to hope. There's no use being a pessimist. That doesn't do anything. I was a pessimist a lot last year. That didn't do anything. I felt miserable. I don't want to feel miserable anymore. I want to feel good. And we won, so I don't have to do that stupid Joker dance thing. We won. We won, so I don't have to do it. I think we'll be fine. Just breathe. Let's take this in stride, okay? We got our first win. We'll just, you know... We'll enjoy it. We're on to next week. I'll see you guys in the preview video for the San Francisco game. Enjoy Victory Monday, however you may. And let's get ready for next week. See you guys soon. And, uh, you know, go Broncos.